in this video I'm gonna teach you how to find your niche on YouTube and this is specifically designed for new youtubers on how you can come up with YouTube ideas or ideas for your channel coming up on frame 316 media Hi everyone and welcome to another episode and my name is Robert. I upload videos weekly that aims to help you tell better stories using videos. Uh, everything about video and managing your YouTube and of course uh, marketing and uh, distributing your content. So today I want to talk about a very specific topic that I always encounter with people who ask my help to train them, give them a guidance, a proper guidance on how they can start this YouTube because you know there's a vast opportunity on YouTube right now but you have to start uh, with uh, the right mindset. You know this is not something that you would just jump in and and pray that something happens okay so the first thing that you need to um, determine is what do you really want to do okay do you want to be a vlogger do you want to be a guide do you want to be a teacher do you want to be a, a what they call this um, a gamer a musician so there's a lot of things that you can do but the first thing that you need to figure out when you're starting on YouTube and you you really want to get serious with it and you really want to grow and you know potentially earn money in the future is you need to figure out what do you want to do you know what do I want to be on my YouTube channel for example when you go to my channel I have a very specific goal on this channel which is to help people help brands tell better stories using videos so you can check out all my videos um, uh, in my channel and you would notice that there's a uh, you know a pattern you know there's a theme there's a concept in all the videos that I'm doing and by the way if you're new here and if you're interested to learn everything about a video and YouTube figuring out how to use that to your advantage please make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you wouldn't miss out on videos like this in the future okay so let's jump in on the um, things that you need to cover you know that would help you become a successful youtuber so what and how do you find your niche okay as I've mentioned uh, if you figured out what you want to do then you can proceed to this uh, first step that I'm going to be talking about. You need to find something that's related to your expertise. A lot of uh, successful uh, people on YouTube, content creators on YouTube, it's not random, you know, that they decide to, hey, I want to do a channel that talks about, you know, the outer space when that guy doesn't even have the opportunity to go outer space. So let's say you're a designer right or you're you know you love gardening you're a musician or for example you know you're, you're just a math genius okay and you want to add value to other people figure out you know which part of your life right now uh, can you consider that that is your expertise get a piece of paper just create a checklist and see the the part that you're you have been doing for years now and like for myself my my expertise is practically basically on storytelling so that's what i'm doing on my channel right now next thing that you need to uh, make sure is find a topic that you will enjoy doing now the problem with you know forcing something that you're not an expert on or something that you're not enjoying it would reflect on your videos you know, and your videos would suffer your channel would suffer and people would notice that hey this dude is just you know forcing himself and trying to be a content creator but it's obviously obviously he's not uh, enjoying it okay so next thing the third thing is is there a group of people that would uh, find who will find your topic useful remember that youtube is not like a one-way trip where you know you would stand in front of a camera and keep talking <laughs> you need audience to grow on youtube so you, you better be sure that uh, somewhere you know anywhere in the place of the world right now there would be a specific group of people and that is where the strategy comes in because you can use as simple as the google search you know or the youtube search 
uh, search box and try to find topics and see if there's a lot of people watching it you know you would see the views of of the videos that has been done regarding that topic it means that topic is something that people are looking for you know it's a solution that people are looking for so it's safe to you know assume that if you're going that way there would be a group of people uh for you to uh, uh distribute you know and add value to and next just an important question is an important uh, thing is can you sustain your video in the long term and i mean sustain uh, managing a youtube channel um it involves editing you know filming and design you know when i say design it's not just the visual it's the design of your content how do you want to distribute it how do you want to uh, deliver your content you know what sort of thumbnails and you know what's the mood of your uh, videos uh, video episode for your youtube channel so it's important that um, you need to ask yourself you know can i sustain this uh, if you're just beginning, of course, definitely you will be the one you know, filming or editing your videos. And um, I have a video right here on your screen right now that you can check out if you are that person and you need to figure out what can you do with your smartphone. So I have a whole playlist on that topic which can uh, help you. Next, is there a potential to earn money aside from monetization? Okay. A lot of YouTube content creators are going on YouTube <laughs> because... Uh, they're hoping that someday they will be monetized and get the money and get paid. The thing about monetization is YouTube requires 4,000 hours of watch time and 1,000 subscribers. Imagine during that time that you're waiting to get to 4,000 hours and 1,000 subscribers. There's a lot you can do to start earning money. You have what you call the affiliates, you know, going to Amazon affiliate and selling and reviewing stuff. And there's even like, you know, the brand deals. There's X deals that you can do. You can promote other people's business. You know, you can collaborate with people. So if, if you're just beginning, you need to have that mindset that you don't need to wait. <laughs> because 4,000 hours is really, you know, a challenge. It's not that easy. So you, you don't need to wait to get to the point where you have uh, 4,000 hours of watch time and 1,000 subscribers. You can start figuring out how to earn money on your youtube channel next do you know people in this space when i say you know people you know if you personally know them that's good <laughs> but what i mean to say with do you know people in this space have you been following people who's doing you know what you want to do have you been observing how they're doing it and have you been you know interacting and engaging with the crowd it this tip is is all about you being in that space being aware you know and being uh, active in that space because that would not make you you know look like some random dude dude who just you know <laughs> came out of nowhere and just talking about stuff so you start with engaging you know do you know people you know engage engage comment share like you know people that you see who are doing what you plan to do in the future next do you have enough resources to share when i say enough resources uh this is both the uh, tangible and intangible uh, resources when i say tangible resources let's say the, you have um, an equipment that you can talk about you know if you're in the filming space uh but also the intangible resources is, that is the knowledge you know do you have enough knowledge to talk about whatever topic you want to talk about in the next 100 videos okay that's the thing you know uh, ideally uh, what I always tell my students is, you know, get a sheet of paper and plan your first 100 videos. <laughs> you know, write 100 video ideas and see if uh, that's something that you can work hard on. Because it only requires you to write, you know, you're not yet filming, you're not yet editing. But that exercise alone will uh, give you, you know, that enough confidence that, yes, I can do it, okay? And lastly... Is this something that you can commit to? All right. YouTube is all about accountability. It's all about commitment. It's not just creativity. It's not just, you know, the charisma. It's not just about your skill set. First and foremost, you need to commit to it. Like what I'm doing on my channel, you know, when I decided to really get serious about this, you know, 65, 67 weeks ago, I decided I'm going to do one video a week and I've been doing that for that full-time and that's a commitment that i made 
So when you're starting, you know, to help you find your niche, you know, find your space that you can be comfortable at, once you got the topic, see if you can really commit to it. The phrase is show up. You know, when, when you say, I'm going to show up every Monday, I'm going to show up every Wednesday and upload a video. Make sure you show up. You know, that's what I call commitment. Okay, so once you have all this covered, then you're ready to launch your YouTube channel. And the thing about this is this is not an overnight process. You know, word of caution. This is not an overnight process. This is something that you would really need to spend a lot of time, you know learning reading and watching other people's content and w once you you will know it you know on, um, just by having that sort of confidence that yes i think i'm ready you know i know what i want to do uh, i'm expert at this i know people and you know i can commit to this and i think this is sustainable for me because let's say i have a friend or i have a cousin who can help me edit videos so th those are the stuff that you need to cover and it's not complete you know what i'm saying is not complete uh it will still evolve as you um, move on to your journey as a youtube creator so i hope that a few steps would help you realize and you know would, would teach you what sort of topic you need to choose to start your youtube channel and it's time to go to work it's your time to grow thank you for watching and hope to see you on my next videos